Hi, it's Sarah. And it's Ray with the Stanford High Roundtable, and this is our month's radio segment. For our first segment, me and Ray covered Stanford High's senior sunrise that happened on September 13th at 6 a.m. What senior activity are you guys most excited for this year? Graduation. Other than graduation. I'm just kidding. Senior sunrise. <laughs> Spoons. <gasps> See? Prom. Spoons. <laughs> Thank you. Here at the 2025 sunrise, planned by me, and I was a little worried because it's a little later than normal, but the weather is so perfect, and everyone's having a good time, and I'm really happy. I'm here with Christina Fobel, Jasmine Sandoval, Grace Lombardo. Now, what are your goals for senior year? My goals are to keep organized and get good grades. To pass and have fun because we only have this time one time. Um, my goal is to um, keep up on my work and keep striving to do the best I can um, my senior year. Thank you. I'm here with Jashita, Isabella, Naisha. Jessica. Joshua. Okay. How is your common application going so far? I haven't touched it. I started my essays already. Uh, I think it's in a really good spot. Yeah, I'm in a good shape right now. All finishes submitted. I'm here with Mia, Gianna, Sharcy, Roy. What time did you guys get up this morning? 5 o'clock. 4.59. 4.45. 4.30. When did you guys get here? 5.30. 5.50. 30. 6.13 maybe. 5.55. She was later than me. <laughs> the sun's coming in from the dock and the harbor. It's so gorgeous, but it's just not as gorgeous as seeing all my... Uh, my entire class coming together for one of the last few times. For our next segment, Ashton Harper and Adele Foreman speak at a New York City climate rally. My name is Ashton Harper. I'm reporting with the Round Table. I'm also the founder of Fridays for Future Stanford, which is a citywide climate organization. Hi, I'm Adele Foreman. I'm a club member. We are currently on a train on our way to New York City during school hours. Adele, would you like to explain why? We are going to a youth climate strike. Why is it important for you to go to a youth climate strike? Um, I really uh, believe in activism about climate change and global warming. I'm here with Matilda Curley from Fridays for Future New York City. Matilda, you're an organizer for this strike, correct? Oh, yes. Would you tell us a little bit about that? Um, it's a lot of emailing and spreadsheets, you know, but it's also just a lot of getting to connect with new people. So just trying to get as many people as you can to feel inspired. And why do you think that youth climate activism is important? Um, I think youth climate activism is important because um, the kids are the people who are going to be voting in the future. So trying to make sure they understand what's going on and also care about what's going on is just crucial for what our future is going to look like. Well said. We are all gathered here today to hold polluters accountable for the destruction, for the extraction. We will hold these fossil fuel companies, the super rich and our leaders accountable. Together, we will achieve climate justice. I'm here with Jamila from Sunrise. Jamila, why do you think youth climate activism is important? Um, youth are people that are going to be feeling and seeing the consequences of our the climate crisis. So for them to be able to stand up, be motivated, and um, take a stand is important. I am a I'm here with Connor. From what organization? I'm with Green Faith. Why is, do you think that youth climate activism is important? So youth climate activism is important because, you know, every generation is stuck living here on this earth. And we're killing it, and it's going to be dead before we can find anywhere else to live. So no matter if you're, you know, 12 years old or 92 years old, you got to be fighting for this earth because, you know, if it dies, 
we die too. We the one, our planet and our future is being destroyed by the greed of the fossil fuel industry. Yeah. We have less than five years left to prevent the world from crossing the critical threshold of 1.5 degrees Celsius. And we know how to prevent this. We need to stop burning fossil fuels. That's why we are here today, naming the pillars of fossil fuels, polluters, funders, and leaders. These pillars have money and power. But when we come together as a movement, as we have today, we are like a wave, forceful enough to tear it down. I'm here with Ashton. Hey. Um, can you tell me a little bit about why you s decided to found Fridays for Future here at Stanford High? So Fridays for Future is an international organization founded by Greta Thunberg. And I decided to found a chapter at Stanford High because I think it's really important to engage in climate activism. And Fridays for Future is an amazing organization with so many resources. And I really just want to encourage students at Stanford High and people in Stanford to fight for climate justice. Thank you. Lastly, I'm here with Marty Inverno, a features editor for The Roundtable. She recently posted an article about her favorite fall movies and is here to discuss her top three favorites. Hey guys, I'm Marty. Um, I am a big movie fan. You know, I watch them all the time. I'm actually a Letterboxd um, Pro member, which, you know, I think makes me qualified to give these awesome recommendations. So my top three favorite fall movies, you know, make sure you're buckled in for this because they're, they're pretty good. Um, number one, we have Donnie Darko, which is great. I think it's my personal favorite Jake Gyllenhaal movie, although I honestly have not seen that many, but I have a feeling if I watched more, it would probably still be my favorite. Um, it's really confusing, I think, but I think that if you really stick with it and you also have Wikipedia open the whole time, you can, you'll really understand it and you'll love it and it'll be awesome. Um, my second favorite is Pan's Labyrinth which is in Spanish. Um, if you listen to it in English or if you watch it in English, I don't want to hear about it, but it's really good. It's directed by Guillermo del Toro. It's, I think, his best movie. Um, others might disagree, but you know, I don't care because it's really good. It's beautiful. Third is Good Will Hunting. Um, that's just a really great, awesome fall movie starring Matt Damon and Ben Affleck and they wrote it, which is great. And also um, Robin Williams is in it, so yeah. Thank you so much. To read her full article, you can go to shsroundtable.com. Thanks, Thanks for, for listening. listening. Don't forget to tune in next month. We're your hosts, Ray and Sarah, signing off.